John Stuart Mill was a philosopher best known for utilitarian moral philosophy and not really known for his atheism, but he was never convinced that a god existed. He says, I was brought up from the first without any religious belief in the ordinary acceptation of the term. My father, educated in the creed of Scotch Presbyterianism, had by his own studies and reflections been early led to reject not only the belief in revelation, also the foundations of what is commonly called natural religion. The greatest reason for Mill's skepticism was the problem of evil. He was influenced by his father's skepticism as well, especially with regard to this issue. He found it impossible to believe that a world so full of evil was the work of an author combining infinite power with perfect goodness and righteousness. Not only did his father not believe that a benevolent god would create a world like this, he also thought that theistic morality was profoundly immoral. He looked upon it as the greatest enemy of morality. First, by setting up factitious excellencies, belief in creeds, devotional feelings, and ceremonies not connected with the good of humankind, and causing these to be accepted as substitutes for genuine virtues. But above all by radically vitiating the standard of morals, making it consistent in doing the will of a being on whom it lavishes indeed all the phrases of adulation, but whom in sober thought it depicts as eminently hateful. I have a hundred times heard him say that all ages and nations have represented their gods as wicked in a constantly increasing progression, that mankind have gone on adding trait after trait till they reach the most perfect conception of wickedness which the human mind could devise, and have called this God and prostrated themselves before it. Think, he used to say, of a being who would make a hell who would create the human race with the infallible foreknowledge and therefore with the intention that the great majority of them were to be consigned to horrible and everlasting torment. Mill believes that Christians fail to see how horrible this is because when they hear about the moral excellence of their God, they tend to project onto him what they believe moral excellence to be. Their worship is not paid to the demon which such a being as they imagined would really be, but to their own ideal of excellence. Mill is not particularly known for his atheism, perhaps because he was keenly aware of the stigma placed on atheists. Frankness on these subjects would either risk the loss of means of subsistence, or would amount to exclusion from some sphere of usefulness peculiarly suitable to the capacities of the individual. But he was also aware that if enough atheists spoke up about their atheism, that would ameliorate the stigma. Such an avowal would put an end, at once and forever, to the vulgar prejudice that what is called, very improperly, unbelief is connected with any bad qualities either of mind or heart. The world would be astonished if it knew how great a proportion of its brightest ornaments, of those most distinct even in popular estimation for wisdom and virtue, are complete skeptics in religion, many of them refraining from avowal less from personal considerations than from a conscientious, though now in my opinion a most mistaken apprehension, less by speaking out what would tend to weaken existing beliefs and by consequence as they suppose existing restraints, they should do harm instead of good. He supposed that many atheists were afraid of proclaiming their atheism not because of the danger to themselves, but rather because they believed that people would behave badly if they were to also become atheists. Mill thought this fear was nonsense. Thanks again so much to everyone who supports me on Patreon.